Hey guys, today we'll be making a really hearty dish with some leeks, some tuna, something really simple that anyone can do at home. Um, it's, it's, it's beautiful in terms of taste, it's very rustic in the way we're cooking it because we're braising the leeks uh, with some white wine so you get all that caramelized flavor, then you get the white wine that just deglazes the whole pan and gives you just a nice, nice flavor on everything. And then we're just going to do a very quick sear with sesame seeds, black pepper, extremely classic on the tuna itself. Um, and then we're just going to chop it uh, and, and slice it properly so it's a nice medium uh, rare, maybe raw, raw just a little bit inside it. It's exactly what we want when it comes to uh, pan frying too. So I really hope you guys enjoy this one. So what we're first going to start to do is just take our leek here and then we're just going to cut it in two. And then you're not going to go all the way through, just halfway and you're going to open it. Just check for dirt or anything. If there's none then that's fine. Just cut it all the way through to the root. In a hot pan here with about one tablespoon of olive oil, I'm just gonna add one piece of garlic. I'm just gonna fry that a little bit until it softens. After about one minute, I'm just gonna add my leeks face down. Just make sure you have a pan where you can put it in one layer only. I'm just gonna brown that on one side. Now once I've browned on one side, I'm just gonna flip it to the other side and get the other side just as charred. We're then going to turn it back to the other side and I'm just going to add a pinch of salt onto it and then we're going to deglaze the whole pan with about half a cup of white wine. Once the smell of the alcohol is pretty much gone, what you're going to do is add about the same amount of uh, chicken stock. So I'm going to add in one half cup as well. This can be pre-prepared chicken stock. Um, the brand I use is this one here. Uh, you can find it locally. If not, you can make it yourself at home as well. Now before closing it up with a lid and cooking it and braising it for about 20 minutes, I'm just going to add some dried thyme into the mix. About one teaspoon should do the trick. After about 30 minutes, you have this beautiful thick, unctuous um, liquid that you see over here. That's absolutely perfect. Um, it grabbed all the color from the caramelization and everything and it's nice and soft. I can actually pierce it really easily. Now I'm just going to add in about a tablespoon of chopped fresh parsley. I'm going to mix that together. To finish off with some protein, I've got a nice piece of sashimi grade tuna over here. This is about 200 grams and I'm just going to roll it around in some paprika, some sesame seeds, some parsley, some pepper and some salt, just equal amounts of all, just to get a nice uh, thorough coating of everything. And I'm going to place that into a hot pan with a little bit of oil and then I'm just going to sear it really quickly until it browns all over, don't have to cook it all the way through. What we're looking to do is to sear it for about a minute on each side. You'll see it gets a bit harder here. You see that white coming up? That's perfect. And then we're going to do that for every side until we get a nice, perfectly raw inside, but nicely cooked on the outside. Once it's off the pan, I'm just going to slice it very thinly, about half an inch thick, all throughout. And finally, just finish it all off, so i got my leeks here with the beautiful brown uh, sauce on the bottom here, and then I'm just going to take my tuna, and I'm going to put the whole thing onto the leeks here, just as so, just separate a little of them. Check your um, seasoning, of course, you need to add more or less seasoning, and then you're pretty much good to go. I really hope you enjoyed that recipe, so please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like it. In the next couple of weeks, we'll have lots of different content coming up uh, with different content providers coming up as well, so it'll be really fun all around food and drinks. Um, if you want to see any other recipes or, or is there any particular thing that you want to know how to do in the kitchen or in a drink, please let me know. Drop down in the comment section below, leave me a comment, um, and tell me what you want to see. So I'll catch you guys next time.